if there's anything I could say to doctors and nurses, it would be don't sit be behind a desk or a table. Don't have any obstacles in front of you. You might have done this a thousand times in your career, but if you're passing this information on to a family member, don't be in an office. Go somewhere that's comfortable for both and listen. Don't talk, don't give lots of facts, just listen and you will hear what a person's saying and you will hear what's important to them. Some amount of daft things about the place. <laughs> So it's just a stray that just showed up? Yes, probably about four years ago and it, it just sleeps in the greenhouse, I feed it. And Have you named him? Uh, Misty, that was what Ginny called him. She had a cat that was Misty and she still thought it was him. And how are the family? Because it's very important that you consider how they're feeling at that time. Because as a carer, you know, you've been through probably 10 years of looking after and you know, you're frustrated, you're you know, angry at times and you're depressed and at the same time you care and you, I'm telling you, you love the person even more after it. You know, it definitely you know, gets you together even though she doesn't know you, uh, you still feel it. Mm -hmm. you know, when you go for an assessment I, there is you know, a consultant, and doctors, and nurses, I, social workers, all there, and they present a, a, you know, a really intensive and professional report. And you're sitting there listening to this report, and you're taking in everything it's said, and it's great, and they're all concerned. I, but after it, you go out the door, and you're standing there saying, I'm on my own. And then there is the part afterwards where you've got to support the person and make sure they've, they've absorbed some of the information and that they are okay when you leave them as well. It's okay as people can be in that circumstance. I, but the consultant, everybody thought he was a, a gruff old bugger. But you know, he came to the house and he was great. He's still, you know, I'm due another visit to him. You know, I'm fine, really, I can do all the things, but... He keeps an eye on me and makes sure that depression's no setting in. You know, I find this they're still looking after you at the you know, as time goes by.